So Tool Time has been asking that question, has been making that video. And what I mean by that is that it's a video that I've seen a lot of people make in the past few years. It's like it's almost a natural progression during a person's YouTube career that at some point they reach the point where they make that video. And what I mean by that video is the video in which they look into the camera and they say, where has everybody gone? What has happened to all these people that I used to be subscribed to? The vloggers that I used to follow, so many have fallen by the wayside. And there doesn't seem to be anybody to s jump into the breach and take over from them. What's going on? Is this site perhaps dying? And I think this might be more a case of that particular stage in your YouTube career. That might be one aspect of it. There might also be something to do with how this site works. And let me just address the two points, the, those two different reasons why I think you might arrive at that particular point where you make that video. Okay, first of, all, first of all, you know, reaching that point in your YouTube career. I think what tends to happen, or what's, what I've seen happen quite a lot with people who join YouTube, is that they find a group of people who have similar ideas, similar outlooks on life, like to talk about similar things. And what that tends to result in is that people kind of form cliques of people that have similar interests. And the thing about cliques is that as they form, they change from being outward focused, where the members in the group are looking for other people who have similar interests. They turn inwards, they become inward focused, and they start looking at each other, and they start interacting with each other, and they separate themselves somewhat from the wider community. That, of course, is not necessarily a bad thing. You know, you have friends because you like to find people with similar interests that you can do fun things with. Nothing wrong with that. But as time goes on, what tends to happen is that people get disillusioned, disenchanted. They simply lose interest, whatever, and they leave. So when people like that leave your clique, your clique gets smaller. And your inward focus prevents you from seeing that there is an outside world, a wider community. So you see your own group get smaller because you tend to interact pretty much exclusively with people in that group. Your level of interaction goes down and you necessarily then get to the point where you start thinking, is there nothing happening on this side? And that I don't think is necessarily correct. What seems to be more the case is that your clique is atrophying and dying out. And that, I think, is a very natural progression and a very natural thing to happen to groups like that. That is what happens. So I'm not overly concerned by that. On the other hand, though, the site itself might have something to do with it. Now, we all know that there are plenty of things to criticize YouTube about. The way that the content ID matching system is currently being abused by copyright squatters and how they cream off profits of videos that they have absolutely no rights to with no way of recourse. That is a huge problem. The DMCA abuse problem, the flagging abuse problem. All these sites, all these problem, problems are specific to this site, YouTube, and don't help our community engagement at all. But that aside, that aside, there's also the simple fact that this site has gotten absolutely huge. And that makes a huge difference in how you used to interact with this site a few years ago compared to now. Just think about what it was like when we joined, you and I, to a time. We both joined in 2006 when the summons went. And at the time, YouTube was already fairly big, but it was, you know, the size of it was manageable. So you came in to YouTube, you started looking for videos, first of all, 
just videos to entertain you and then you decide maybe like you know i'm talking about my own experience right one day i just decided maybe there's something about say richard dawkins or somebody like that or atheism so i typed in atheism and lo and behold i found a few people who were talking about this and who were making interesting videos i started watching them of course within no time i had i discovered the real big names and very shortly after that i had started interacting with other members in the group but it was still a fairly small close knit group of people within no time you pretty much know and knew everybody who was really engaged with the community and you became part of that community that cannot happen anymore these days simply because the size has gotten an order of magnitude or two bigger so if you now come in to a site like this and you start looking for you know a group of interest you know topics that interest you you might find somebody a few people who make videos about that topic they happen to be part of a group of people who have similar interests but they could be completely separate from another group of people who have also got interests like that and the two groups might not even know about each other it has so become so big that such little many communities can pop up separated and unaware of each other so not only have cliques got the tendency to shrink over time and atrophy it then becomes very hard to find that community that we used to have back in 2006 it's not that something like that doesn't exist but it's become more fragmented for the simple reason that it's very very hard for people to find each other that is not necessarily not only due to the way youtube are running this site and i must say that some of the changes that youtube have pushed through might actually help funnily enough if you're subscribed to people don't just subscribe to their uploads but for example also even if you use that checkbox uploads only and other activity and toggle and every now and again check out the other activities see what other people are watching and you'll find that they might be watching people that you've never heard of before go and check them out check out their little constellation of youtubers and what they're at maybe they're doing something that interests you so yeah of course over time the old guard will slowly die out there are a couple of living fossils left like yourself and myself but a lot of them are also gone a lot of people you used to follow a lot of people that i used to follow are gone the good thing is that there are a lot of new faces on this site who are just as interesting as the old ones used to be but it's more difficult to find them and that's just the way things have developed over time i wouldn't be disheartened by that